The struggle for recognition today hinges on deep social divisions and the fight for individual autonomy and capability. This conversation revolves around shifting political values with a call to return to the foundational principles of meritocracy and freedom of speech alongside the pursuit of individual freedom and authenticity in a fractured society. So you've obviously decided to lay your, what, lay your efforts down on the side of the Trump administration in the forthcoming yeah. election. And so, yeah, I would, I think it's, 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 uh, it's really, I think we need a change of administration. Um, uh, and I, I think, uh, in, in, you know, many years ago, the, I think probably the democratic party was the party of uh, meritocracy and, and, and of personal freedom. Yeah. Um, they used to be the free speech party. Yeah. Uh, and, and these days they, they, they seem to be the censorship party under the guise of hate speech. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so weirdly, the in my view, the Republican Party is actually the party of that, that's the, the meritocracy party, because uh, you know the, the Democrats are also promoting DEI, which is really just um, another form of racism and sexism. Um, it's the most pernicious form, I think, actually. R right. So it's anti-meritocratic. DEI is fun fundamentally anti-meritocratic. So, so, so then I'm, it insists on dividing people by groups right, as so, the primary. What would you say? Conceptual distinction between individuals, yes, race, in fact, ethnicity, I think, sex. I think the Democratic Party is, is stoking um, division. Uh, I think the evidence for that's clear. All of this group identity right. nonsense has made things much more. I can see it in Toronto. When my kids grew up in Toronto downtown, I would say they were race. They were race, ethnicity, and gender blind. Right. Seriously, yeah. They had an unbelievably diverse range of friends, and no one cared. Sure. And even in Toronto, that started to shift around with this emphasis on group division. It's a really ugly thing to see. So yeah, not good, not good. Yeah. So my view, and is that at this point in the United States, the uh, Republican Party um, is more in line with uh, mer a meritocracy yeah. and with personal freedom. Some believe that the Democratic Party has strayed from these core principles. Elon Musk's remarks can be seen as a reflection of concerns about the current political landscape, particularly regarding issues of freedom and press capability. There is also criticism of DEI initiatives with accusations of another form of racism and gender discrimination, reflecting broader discontent with identity politics. Themes of individual freedom and the authenticity of one's actions are central to this discourse. Elon Musk and Dr. Jordan B. Peterson's emphasis on meritocracy and individual freedom is seen as a call to prioritize personal achievement and integrity over collective identity. This highlights a deeper struggle for meaning and identity within a politically polarized society, revealing a disillusionment with the current government and a desire for change. Musk's assertion that the Democratic Party has become the sensational party under the guise of state speech underscores fears for individual freedom and autonomy. Dr. Peterson echoes and expands on these concerns, pointing to social division and the erosion of competency-based systems. The public's response is likely to be polarized. Supporters of Musk and Peterson see their views as valid and may embrace them as a rallying cry. They empathize with the criticisms of DEI and meritocracy. These discussions resonate widely among conservatives, reinforcing existing beliefs and potentially swaying those disenchanted with the current political environment. 